that he exists. He has created heavens and earth. Believe in him and have faith in him. Hallelujah. Yes. Challenges are there. Troubles are there. Yes, troubles are there. But it should not draw your faith away. Do not take away your faith. Yes. Do not take away your faith. Be a man of faith. Be a woman of faith. Be a child of faith. With or without. Be a man of faith, a woman of faith. Things will move immediately. Whether they have accepted you or they have rejected you, mm. be a person of faith. Amen. Sins of this world are passing by. Yes. But the word of God is staying forever. It is stays forever. The Bible has, we have just read this scripture. It said the only thing, the only thing which can please God is the faith. I can be a preacher, renowned preacher, speak in tongues, prophesy, but when I have no faith in what I'm speaking, it is meaningless. It has no value. It has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. But when you have faith in what you're speaking, in what you're praying, in what you're fasting, in what you're believing in your family, faith is the currency to heaven. Yes. In other words, if you have faith is the currency, is the heavenly money for you to achieve what you want from God. Yes. Then let me put it in simple way. To buy God, to buy heaven, the money is faith. Because he said that if you don't have faith, it is impossible. It is impossible. Absolutely. Impossible to go to heaven. Hallelujah. Yes. Look at when Jesus was with the disciples. Jesus was coming. The disciples were in the boat. When they saw a person from afar, they said, who's that one coming? Is he a ghost? Is he a wrong spirit? But when Jesus came closer, he was walking on top of water. Peter said, Master, can I also try? He said, yes. Peter took one too. He began sinking. Jesus said, have faith. Faith is the currency of heaven. Amen. It's the currency of your blessing. Amen. It's the currency of the happiness you want in your family. Oh, yes. If you have faith, just believe that He existed. God existed in 5,000 years ago. That's why he says in, in, in Genesis. He created heavens and earth in the beginning. Heaven was there. Earth was there. He came in the book of John. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And God was the word. And the word is here today. Yes. That is the faith. He spoke, let there be light and light appear. He spoke that there are people and I'm up here. He spoke let there be darkness, darkness up here. He believed in faith. If the new used to believe in faith. Well, yes. Faith is a heavenly currency. Tell your neighbor, faith is a heavenly currency. Faith is a heavenly currency. Yes! Look at 
Paul, Apostle Paul, he was a sick in the body. He had a soul. But because of faith, he lived. He stayed. He believed that faith will take him to another grace. He take him to another dimension. I tell you, you may be sick in the body. But when you have faith in God, it is a heavenly currency for God to hear you. I pray God to hear you more. I made this a challenge your person. May your faith become possible to God. 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 Because it's the only currency for us to speak with God. I want to speak with God. Many people want to speak with God. I want to hear the voice of God. Many people want to hear the voice of God. I want God to bless me. Yes. Many people want God to bless them. But they are afraid. It's the question which many are failing to answer. Do you have faith? Do you want God to bless you? Do you have faith? Do you want God to stand in your family? Do you have faith? Do you want God to give you a job? Do you have faith? Do you want God to promote you? Do you have faith? Faith is the only currency to reach to God. You want to buy, you want to pick a blessing from God, go to the shop of heaven with the faith. You will pick what you want. You want deliverance, have faith. You will pick your deliverance from God. Jesus said to this woman, Your faith has set you free. Your blood flows stop instantly. Jesus told this man who was blind that your faith has set you free. He began seeing instantly. Money or gold cannot buy anything what we want. But when you have faith, God has a supermarket. Amen. You can pick what you want. Yes. God has a hardware. You can pick what you want using faith. That sickness in your family, that disease in your family, those disappointments around your life, have faith. And then purchase appointment. Have faith and then purchase deliverance. Have faith and then purchase good marriage. Marriage spoken by God. Have faith and then purchase contracts, favor, anointing. Hallelujah. It is a big question to us. How shall we please God? I told you I can be a good preacher, but when I have no faith in what I'm speaking, I'm speaking myself. Faith pleases God. Without faith, all things are possible. I want to leave you with this one. Have a hearing heart. A hearing heart touches God because of the faith inside your heart. Your heart will be able to hear God. Yes! It is impossible to please heaven. It is impossible. Go to assign angels to protect you when you have no faith. It is impossible for heaven to open for you when you have no faith. It is impossible for God to understand who you are when you have no faith. It is impossible to walk on this world without faith. That's why when you wake up in the morning, 
a holiday is trouble, sickness, pain, diseases, the calamities of this world. But you know our faith. It is a new covenant Christ brought. A new covenant to please God is in faith. 